For placement of an esophagostomy tube, you will need gloves, red rubber feeding tube, suture material and instruments, a carmelt or curved hemostat, a scalpel blade, Christmas tree adapter, injection cap, mouth gag, a catheter adapted syringe and bandaging material. There are numerous indications for feeding tube placement in small animal practice. One of the easiest and most simple and most cost effective feeding tubes is the esophagostomy tube. Patients need to be under general anesthesia for this procedure. The patient should be placed in right lateral recumbency and the area over the mid esophagus clipped and sterilely prepared. It's important to note the presence of the jugular vein and its location so that this can be avoided. The other thing that is important is to pre-measure your tube and make sure that the length of the tube is appropriate. The tube should extend to about the ninth rib. You want the tube to be in the distal esophagus. You do not want, do not want it to extend into the stomach. Once you've decided on the length of tube that is required, you can go ahead and using our Carmelt forceps, introduce the forceps through the mouth and into the mid esophagus. The Carmelt can be angled so that the tip is deflected upwards in the mid-esophagus. Again, note the vessels in the neck so that these are not penetrated. Once the caramel is pushed upwards, you can go ahead and make an incision over the top of the tip of the forceps. Once you're through the skin, open the forceps and go ahead and grasp the tube. Then what you're going to do is pull the tube back through your opening and into the mouth. At this point, you're going to turn the tube back on itself and push it back down into the esophagus. You can use a guide wire or stylet to help push this down into the esophageal lumen. Again, make sure you note the length of tube and how far down you want it to go. Once in position, if you have excess tube, you can sometimes form a loop and then suture it in place, or alternatively, you can actually cut the tube to fit the length that you need. Once you have the tube in position, you can go ahead and place a purse string suture around the exit site of the tube and do a Chinese finger suture up the tube. It's then important to go ahead and put a sterile dressing with betadine ointment over the exit site, then go ahead and wrap with gauze bandage and also vet wrap. Once you think the tube is in an appropriate position, it's good to make sure that you're in the right place. To do this, get a syringe and go ahead and place the syringe in the end of the catheter. If the tube is in the correct spot, you should always get negative pressure. If you get air back in the syringe, then there's been improper placement of the tube. Alternatively, you can also go ahead and take a lateral radiograph of the thorax and confirm that the tube is indeed in the caudal thoracic cavity.